Hey friends, Diana here from Garden Love. Today I decided to take a little walk. I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos, but I am going to harvest this grapefruit from this amazing that is in the ground. I actually dug this up from someone who didn't want it. I had it in a pot. And when I moved here, I decided to put it in the ground to see how it uh, would do. And as you can see that it's actually thriving. I chopped it down and it is growing from everywhere. So we're going to test this um, grapefruit and see what it tastes like but since i'm here i want to give you guys a little walkthrough to show you guys what the garden is looking like in the month of march this is another tree that was gifted to me well, you can see these lemons are looking pretty pretty good some of my satsuma trees and my karakara trees don't seem to be thriving as much but i'm hoping that they don't look like they're thriving because they're actually focusing all their energy on growing roots and getting well established we have been getting tons of frost unpredictably like just out of nowhere it's been hot and then out of nowhere it gets super super frosty and as you can see my um navel orange that i had in a pot for many years got a lot of frost damage but I'm hoping that all of this is going to just fall off and eventually start growing some more leaves because look at this, it's starting to flower. And I'm hoping that, you know, this tree can continue to thrive because it is a pretty good orange. I've had it before in the pot and the oranges are amazing and they're ginormous. So I'm gonna keep praying for this tree and hopefully it continues to thrive and this little frost doesn't doesn't you know break it down and kill it which i don't think it will it does have i might have to come and cut make some cuts here you can see all the frost look at that the frost damage so for sure i'm gonna have to come with my cutters this is my cara cara orange as you can see it hasn't done much either this whole year and it also got some frost damage so Oh, a few things are getting affected by the frost and Lily's here walking with us today. Say hi Our pomegranate has completely leafed off. So I'm super excited about that I put a lot of mochi here and I'm hoping that's gonna make the biggest difference this year And I added some fertilizer and I'm hoping that's gonna make the difference and this year This is gonna give us tons of fruit because last year it gave us one it popped open and Something got to it you guys see that little tree over there that also got put in last year? That is my my variegated Eureka lemon. It's also doing okay. Not a lot of leafing, but I'm thinking once spring hits, it's gonna be doing amazing. This is my orange tree that I love. This tree has been here for a while. It was it came with the property. Let's see. And oh my god, I wish you guys could smell this. Delicious. Look at this. We're starting to get new leaves and eventually oh we already have buds you guys see those little buds over there let me get you guys closer look at that so i'm gonna start taking these oranges down actually i've been waiting to take these off because in the month of march and april these get so sweet with the heat of the season and this little orange is still here same thing it's doing the same thing starting to flower new leaves some oranges still on the tree the oranges are not that great so i'm gonna see if maybe now with the mulch and the deep watering maybe it makes a difference i haven't tasted one of these oranges so i'm gonna have to do that soon look at this tree when i moved in here i wasn't sure what kind of tree this was and it looked bare it barely had any leaves it wasn't growing. I didn't see many flowers last year. It was just like a sad little thing. But guess what? Tons of mulch. I put some water, gave it some deep watering as well. And as you guys can see here, we're getting some new leaves. I already see some buds. Unfortunately, I also see some frost damage from these frosts we keep getting. Look at that, the frost damage. But, I realized that this is actually a lemon tree. You guys see that? It has lemons. So I'm super excited to have these little lemons. Um, hopefully they get bigger. Hopefully, um, wait, lemons and limes. Okay, I think this is a lime tree, not a lemon, because this is all green. 
and they're small so we'll see how this goes so i'm excited about that what do you got there i think it's a worm Ooh, you know whom i love that the chickens the chickens you should take it to see for the chickens so let's see what else do we oh yeah and there's also flowers here look at those see those flowers well you know what the flowers are actually kind of pink and and reddish that's usually a sign of lemons not limes so maybe this is a lemon and and the lemons just haven't grown that well because you know it hasn't had the fertilizer the mulch and the water that it needs to thrive and grow but it looks like this season it will so maybe it is a lemon we're gonna find out together because since we've been here we haven't had any fruit from it but now that I'm here I'm doing my little garden love magic tricks and we're trying to nourish it back to life so hopefully we can get some good delicious fruit out of it let's go look at the rest of the garden let's go look at this fig this is the strawberry fig that i got from ivy organic charles we actually planted this together look at this it also got a little bit of frost bite from the frost and I need to water it. I get deep watering. I don't water it as often as the rest. It's not on a drip system just yet, but it's still thriving and growing. So look at that. Love it. Let's continue. So as you guys can see here, I went and put a little bit of a barrier for the squirrels to the bunnies actually mainly to prevent them from going over here because they keep munching on my stuff all my kale last year was taken and i know they're starting to wake up because my cat actually caught a little bunny and i don't want them to come in here hopefully this helps from the people that i spoke to this has helped them a lot because they can't see through it so they don't see what they really want to get to so that's where we're at let's see so you guys can see i mentioned this corner is actually done I'm gonna start working on the middle and the end over there. I have plants for them. I just have to purchase the plants. And everything's doing good. My lavenders are doing so well. Let me see, look at this. You guys see that? Oh my God. My oregano, oregano survived the winter and the frost. So I'm gonna be adding more on this garden and this hillside because it looks really pretty. It could also be ornamental and I think it'll help me cover this with green, make it more shadier, create a nicer microclimate for a lot of the plants that are here because it's going to lower the temperature with more green and more shades. And hopefully I can have things shading things like aloe vera that don't necessarily like to grow in the bright sun. This was kind of an experiment because I had a few. I'll have to grow something above it. I know this plant, the Mexican sage, is going to be growing here soon. As you can see, it's already sprouting new new stalks and it's gonna get pretty pretty big. So I'm gonna cut those down. I would just kind of left it kind of like a little umbrella to protect it from the frost. And now that it's almost gonna come to the end of frost season that I'm going to be cut those stalks down. But Look at this, my pineapple guava is thriving. It absolutely loves it here. So I'm very happy with this. I'm gonna wanna, I'm gonna actually order more so I can be growing some going up in a heart shape like I mentioned in my other videos. But one thing at a time, lavender is doing amazing. My calamani orange, the little tiny orange that are kind of like conquats, seems to be getting established. The roots are getting well established. When I move on it, the trunk seems to be very well um, established. It's very stern. And this is my, oh my God, I am so excited to show you guys. Okay, I have to guys show you guys my face because I had several uh, subscribers or maybe visitors that said, oh, your jujubee's dead, your jujubee's dead. And I said, I don't think it's dead. I planted it here. And look at this the first sign of this jujube waking up so i know if you're still here watching my videos i know you thought this jujube was dead and you know because most of last let's see last year was in a pot 
it barely had tiny little greens because it was in a pot that wasn't getting enough water it didn't have mulch and when it would get water it wasn't consistent and i was just not a good plant caretaker at the moment because i was busy consumed with so many other projects i did the best i could and as soon as i was able to get it in the ground i did over the winter and here it is it's been getting established in the ground doing great and i am super thrilled to see signs of life i protected it with ivy organic paint that also protects it from other um, bugs and critters and things that might want to um, eat away of this wood and also most importantly because look at it it's standing here alone in the bare open of everything getting hot hot sun i didn't want it to have any sun damage which is usually what trees get from the sun in the winter even though that it's winter i mean here in california we always have sun so i needed to protect this tree because there wasn't anything else shading it off and protecting the trunk from sunburn so ivy organic is an amazing product i absolutely love it i use it in all my trees as you guys can see here they're all white and they have done miracles for my trees even when some of them have already had sunburn even when some of them had already had like um holes from critters going into it i put it and it's just been a miracle worker i highly highly suggest that you guys use it on your trees it's organic it doesn't have any chemicals that it's going to get into your plants and fruits so this tree was able to survive the whole winter and now that it's heating up without any leaves no protection but ivy organic protected it so i am so thrilled i am so happy to announce that this tree is alive as you guys can see there are signs of life and it's going to blow up this year i can guarantee it because it's been dying to be in the ground it's been dying to um to produce tons of fruit this was gifted from my best best buddy steve from um, ask mr liz he is an amazing teacher that teaches agriculture and he actually has a channel if you guys want to go visit him this was a give he always blesses me with trees and plants and i'm super blessed to have him as a friend but as you guys can see this tree is going to blow up i promise you guys that i brought cushions over here because i spend my mornings when i'm off sitting there enjoying soaking in the sun like lily is it's so good for us to get some sun since it's winter my job is indoors 100 percent of the time so i don't get much sun so as you guys can see um I love it here. It's looking really good. When these things start to wake up, it's going to do an amazing statement on this garden. Look at these. This is one of my favorite trees. It is my queen nectarine. The fruit is amazing. If you go back to the videos that I posted a while back, the fruit was just amazing. It was growing in a pot for many years. It was producing in a pot for many years. And I just love it. It had to go in the ground. It definitely check that box of them of this tree earning a spot in this garden on this hillside so i'm super thrilled to have it here can't wait to get some fruit this was another tree that didn't produce as much last year that really really was suffering due to my neglect and my lack of to it and it just didn't didn't get what it needed so definitely going to do great this year and i can't wait to sh to share the fruit with you guys because this year we're gonna have some harvest videos go on and show you guys on my mexican key lime look at this tons of little flowers growing and tons of new little leaves it also got a little bit of damage from the frost that it was already starting you know california is a little bipolar one day is hot and one day is cold so it started to sprout new leaves as you can see and then a few days go by and the frost came and then we got frostbite and then all the little growth that it had done it got damaged and it's gonna have to restart but as you guys can see look at all of these new buds that means that I am going to get tons of fruit from this tree. It means I'm not going to have to buy any key limes from, from the store. It's going to save me a pretty penny because the limes do get pretty expensive. I think I saw, like, not key limes, but I saw regular limes for 59 cents each, which I think was crazy. So, it's looking good, friends. Look at this. I need to take those weeds out. This is another Mexican sage that I need to chop off. I can already see the new stalks coming in. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I also went ahead and put a um, pomegranate tree that I got from a, my friend Steve Liz also. This was gifted to him. And this is actually kind of amazing that it's growing as a tree. And that's what my goal is. So what I'm going to do is just take these suckers 
out so the tree can continue to focus on the upper growth. I don't want anything coming from down below. I want this to be true a tree form. And I also protected it with IB Organic because it was bare during the winter. And it was up here sitting in the middle of the sun. This is a spot that gets tons of sun. And I've been putting lots of mulch and a lot of drip. If you dig here, you're going to see that this soil is moist, which is amazing. That's what you want for all your trees when you dig under. You don't want it to be bare and dry like this soil right here. Look at this. Nothing's going to thrive and grow in a soil like this, except maybe some um, nopales. Some, yeah, some nopales. So I'm going to add mulch because even these need a little bit of moisture capture in there. So, very important. Look, if I dig here, this soil has moist. That's what you want for your trees. So, yes, that's starting to bloom out and grow. Are you going to give that to the chickens? Oh, I want to... Uh... I want to make a little hole in it with the water bottle because I finished it and then I want to put it in the water bottle. Oh, okay. So this is more lavender. This is, I always forget the name of this. I want to say it's like goji berry. It's supposed to be like these little berries that look like little chilies. So I heard chickens love it. I heard people don't really like it that much. I had it. I'm going to put it in here. I mean, worst case scenario, I can come and chop it down and feed it to the chickens. I mean, it's always good to have extra supplemental food for the chickens because, you know, food could get expensive and it is getting expensive with everything happening. So I'm going to be putting some more Laura Bay growing because I remember I'm going to be growing a little hedge that's the shape of a heart. And I'm kind of just laying things out to see how they're going to be and you know how they look playing with the landscape now you guys are going to be so surprised to see this and i got some honey berries honey berries are supposed to be like blueberries with tons and tons of vitamins and minerals that are super good for you so i went ahead and get it now there is a thing about these honey berries they don't like the sun like super heat like the heat that we get here in california so my goal is that i planted them hopefully they get established before it gets too hot and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put shade over them during the summer and maybe grow something that is going to be growing only for the summer something that provides shade for the summer and then in the winter we could take them off and grow something else and let these get bigger and as they get bigger they're going to need less shade because the, its own canopy is going to be the protector it might get some some sunburn and only the top layer is going to get damaged so that's my goal kale is still thriving and growing i'm using some and some of them i'm using to the chit for the chickens so i'm supplementing some of their food with you know some greens from the garden so it's always good to give them something good i went ahead and took out all of my um basil plants chopped them down and just chopped them in there i'm going to add a mulch on top of it and i'm going to allow it for it to all break down so it can start to continue to uh, feed the soil and it could just continue to replenish i did not dig up the underground stock i'm going to let that break down in there let the little worms eat the roots because that's also food for them as it's rotting out and just let it be so like i said everything can replenish itself and eventually you know things are going to just be feeding each other and i'm going to be growing things in between the things that just grow like this meyer lemon you guys remember my meyer lemon this tree is looking amazing it looks a little bit of iron deficiency a little bit of nutrients i went ahead and added ivy organic fertilizer my uh, my friend charles actually sent me a package i was so blessed to receive it and i went ahead and planted this i use um the ivy organic fertilizer i also painted the stock as you guys can see and i'm going to be removing some of this because what i want this tree to do is to really focus on on it rooting and getting established so let's go ahead and take some of this fruit as much as it hurts me maybe just leave one or two on each little branch this had a really good root system so it, it could still grow and thrive with what it had but i want to definitely don't stress it out that much i wanted to focus on rooting getting established because this tree is going to grow pretty big pretty wide and it's going to give me tons of meyer lemons tons of meyer lemons i went ahead and took down all of my sage as you can see i broke down all of the the sage and look at this another mexican key lime and look there's still some Mexican key limes. 
left here. Yeah, Lily? Yeah, let's go feed it. Let me just finish showing everybody how everything's doing. It's growing some new leaves, some new flowers. This tree is a trooper for, for real. It's, it's growing and thriving. As you can see, there's still messes that I have to clean in the garden and I will be getting out here soon before it gets too hot. Look at that. My, my Pride and Joy loquat is setting fruit. Hopefully this will be ready by next month. Usually it is by April. My blueberries are doing amazing. Look at this, all of the new flowers. This was a little sucker jujube tree that I took it out from the pot that it was in with, the other big jujube I showed you guys earlier, and I rooted it here, and it's doing good. Hopefully we can see signs of it waking up. Some little branches did die off. Usually that's normal, the branches die off, but ouch, the stalks is alive. So this will be waking up soon. This, this part of the garden doesn't get as much sun as where that big jujube tree is at. So it's probably gonna be a few weeks behind. Well, friends, that is really much it besides the nursery area. And I think I should do a separate video for that because there is just so much to show you guys over there. I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what the garden's looking at. I know I haven't posted a lot of videos. I know that uh, I've been doing a lot of work, but I just haven't been recording because my time is very limited and I didn't want to, um, you know, the... 20 minutes the hour the two hours that I get in between all the responsibilities that I have I uh, want to just get down to work and get it done and you know get as much done as I can so I have to prioritize my time and I have to prioritize what I'm going to do and recording unfortunately wasn't one of it but I do want to give you guys an update I miss you guys all so very much I can't wait to continue to doing videos I'm hoping to um I'm praying that um, something changes in my work schedule that allows me to be home more and allows me to do what I enjoy doing, which is spending time with my beautiful kids. And me out here in the garden, which is my sanctuary, you guys know this is what allows me to de-stress and just like, um, just de-stress. I love this. This is like my passion. I love this. And if I could make money doing this full-time, believe me, I would. But unfortunately, this doesn't pay the bills. But since I love it, I'd love to share it with you guys and grow with you. So I want to show you guys this before I leave and end this video. So this was a sucker or a piece of pineapple waba that actually rooted by my pineapple waba. You guys saw it last year that it was growing by the side of the um, dirt locker. I actually pulled it off. It had roots and I put it here. I put um, IV organic fertilizer. I put, um, let me see, I always forget the name of this. Some... Um, mycorrhizae so that way it can help the roots start growing and thriving and I put this as a little bit of a shade and a little bit of frost protection even though this is really frost hardy I still put it there because I didn't want it to be super stressed I want the roots to get established and hopefully once this is done I did cut it here so it could bush up hopefully I have a pineapple wobble bush here growing here pretty soon and that would be the tip and the bottom part of my heart that I'm about to start doing going up and down so I still have some garlics that I need to pull out and my cilantro did great I picked it up picked up some cilantro many many times I have some Laura Bay here that I'm plan on putting in the ground so I can start growing my heart I'm gonna integrate some pineapple guava and also some of my Laura Bay and do a little hedge with some little pathways in between to get to the middle of it but as you guys can see you look at it from this perspective and it looks like you barely have done anything like I've barely done anything but you go from up above and you look down it looks you can actually see the progress from up above and I'm about to show you guys so it's just about the perspective you see it you guys can't get to, to um, you know unmotivated you guys can, can cannot get discouraged because you feel like you're not doing much you feel like you're not accomplishing much but really one step at a time little by little one plan at a time it's going to grow and thrive and you will accomplish your goals whatever it is that you're trying to do my goal is to get this completely full of trees that are edible and beautiful plants that are beneficial to my bees 
and something that can be a beautiful place to hang out enjoy it with my family and they can all benefit from it so we can enjoy the food i hope that you guys get out there and plant something grow something create something beautiful and useful like love you guys see you in the next one you guys have a blessed day bye Lily. Want to say bye?